Hello and welcome to my Tarot Corner. So I think that uh, you already know that whenever I use the vice versa tarot, uh, I, uh, going to, I'm going to go into a nefarious subject. And apparently the Sussex Squad are trying to uh, cause a Prince William a trend on YouTube by uh, some a kind of really, really nasty sexual insinuation that I'm not going even to repeat. Uh, they are trying to claim that his wife was not uh, willing to do what he wanted sexually, and that is why he had an affair with, with Rose Hanbury. So once again, they are trying to uh, to uh, elevate those uh, claims about that uh, affair, that there is no actual, um, there's no actual uh, proof of that, and I'm going to link below a, a very good uh, YouTube channel by uh, the Royal uh, News Network. Uh, her name is Brittany. She does really good. Uh, informative videos and she's talking about that so if you're interested anyway i'm going to look into the sussex squad as the enemy not only of the mexit community but also of the royal family and the monarchy and i believe that this is uh, their attempt to deflect uh, the a public opinion from Tom Bauer's book and from uh, all of the claims about Megan. And uh, as you maybe some of you saw in my community page, they are doing a lot of things that are really ridiculous. And if you know who Sarah Data is, she's one of their leaders and she popped up on Yankee Wally's sister video, the one and only videos that she did in, on her channel, and uh, I, uh, put an, an, I put a picture of her comment uh, in that uh, video where she was uh, uh, actually threatening to close the channel, which uh, actually happened. So before I start, this is a tarot reading. It is vibrational. It is open to interpretation. It exists as assumptions and speculation, and as such may or may not be true. So please do your own research and decide for yourselves. So as always with the uh, uh, vice versa tarot, uh, when I... Uh, split the deck i am closing my eyes so i won't see the uh, the images on the card so i won't be swayed by them so i'm going to start by clearing the deck And let's start asking. So, the Sussex was as enemies of the royal family and of the Prince William. The Sussex squad that are trying to put out rumors about Prince William's sexual preferences and about his affair, affair or uh, uh, is uh, the, the rumors of an affair that he had or uh, that what that's what they're claiming so sussex squad as enemies of the royal family of prince william and the mexit community okay so now i'm cutting the the um the deck as my eyes are closed i always take the middle uh, part of the deck so I'm doing it now as well so the first card is a card that describes the danger 
and the card that I'm getting here is the Four of Pentacles. Now, this is the Four of Pentacles upright, and the Four of Pentacles shows us that they are feeling threatened. And because they are feeling threatened, they are acting a uh, as uh, this, they are acting out because they feel threatened. This is exactly what the Sussex Squad feel. They are. They see that their queen uh, is uh, uh, being uh, outed by Tom Bauer. She's being uh, uh, described for who she is. All of her lies are being described, and because they are feeling threatened, they are adhering to what they have, and the only thing that they have to attack Prince William are, is, is those uh, uh, bogus uh, uh, rumors about an affair that was never uh, proven, uh, but this is what they have, and once you are acting out of this energy of the Four of Pentacles, you are uh, approaching the energy of the Five of Pentacles, which is destruction and failure that is known in advance. Because when you are acting out of feeling threatened, this is what you are uh, uh, going to get this is what uh, this is the, the future and the future is destruction so they do not realize that right now they are in this defensive mode and before because because they feel defend that they need to defend their uh, queen and uh, her uh, minions uh, they are attacking Okay, so that's the danger. So who is the foe? Who is the enemy? And what I'm getting here is the Ten of Swords. Now, this is the Ten of Swords in the upright position. This is the Ten of Swords in the uh, uh, reverse position. Now, the Ten of Swords, that's a card of a person who is going through a very big storm, someone who is going through a, a very difficult times. A, and if that person is learning a lesson, then he can uh, opening his eyes to the sunlight that is coming and greet a new day as it is here. But because uh, this is, uh, uh, they are not learning their lessons because they are uh, in this defensive mode, they are in this rock bottom uh, position, they are going through very, very bad times, and they are unable to see the sunlight. Now, here, you can see that the sun is completely eclipsed by the moon. So this uh, shows us that the sun is uh, not visible. Uh, so here, this card shows us that uh, they are uh, in a very bad situation. They the, And when people are uh, in this rock bottom uh, place, they tend to attack in order to save themselves. So they are... Uh, this is a very dangerous person, this person who is uh, conducting out of feeling danger, uh, uh, feeling that he needs to, this is like a survival mode, this is a card of destruction, of disease, uh, this is a card of some of people that are unable or very find it very difficult to rehabilitate. And uh, this is a card that shows that problems from the past are coming back and this is exactly what happened uh, with Meghan Markle after the book came out. All of the past stories about her came up and to haunt her and this is exactly where she is right now and this is where the Sussex squad right now and this is what makes them so dangerous. Okay, so who are the allies of the royal family and we're getting the four of wands so that is a great card because the four of wands that's uh, the archetype of a person who is going out on a, a victory quest but not caring about the results but about the road so it, it is far more 
far more important to enjoy the road than to look at the results. And if you do that, then you are going to get the victory, which comes in the card of the Six of Wands. So this card is a card of... Um, uh, engagement, marriage, of being uh, in a kind of adventure. Uh, it, this is a card of happiness and of a happy per pe people. So uh, these are the allies of the royal family and the allies of uh, of. Uh, Prince William. So that is a great card because it shows that uh, we as the Mexitors, the people that support William, we do not only look at the results, we look at, we are enjoying what he's doing. We are enjoying the road. And so does Prince William. It's not only about uh, achievements, it's also about enjoying the road. So this is the allies. The next card is what is the gospel? that the Sussex Court are trying to uh, uh Come to come out with, and we get the seven of wands, but this is the seven of wands reversed. Uh, this is the seven of wands in the upright position. This is the seven of wands reversed. So the seven of wands, when it is in the upright position, it speaks about focusing on the most important things and leaving the trivial out. But when it is uh, in the reverse, it is it shows uh, inattention to uh, particulars, for confusion, lack of focus, and this is what the Sussex Squad are trying to, uh, to say about Prince William. So this is the gossip. They are trying to uh, portray uh, Prince William as someone who is confused, someone who is not looking at the particular, someone who is uh, spreading around and not not focusing on the most important things. Uh, this is a, a card of that they are trying to tell us that he has difficulties in trying in taking decisions, and that is why he cheated on his wife. Uh, this is what they are trying to tell us. All of the things that are actually true about Prince Harry and uh, uh, Meghan Markle, they are trying to deflect that on uh, Prince. Prince William. Okay, so the next card is the denial card, or what are they trying to deny? And we get the Four of Cups. And this is the Four of Cups in the reverse position. The Four of Cups is a card of doubts. It's a card of doubts uh, when it is in the upright position. Uh, it shows us a uh, false rumors. It shows us a, a, an outsider that is spreading false rumors. Uh, it shows us a lot of doubt uh, because uh, they are acting in the wrong way. They don't see reality as it is. When it is in the, in the negative position, when it is uh, in the reverse position as it is here, it is about people that are are lacking trust, have difficulty in trust, people that are gossiping, people that are listening to bad advice, people that are tense and pessimistic and have reluctance to act, people that are always afraid that something might go wrong. So this is the what they are trying to deny. They are trying to deny that something is wrong with the Sussexes. They're trying to deny that the Sussexes have difficulties. Uh, they are spreading gossips, they are spreading uh, suspicion, they are trying to deny that the Sussexes are doing, uh, are listening to bad advice, uh, that they are reluctant to act. This is what they are trying to deny. So this is the card uh, number five. The card number six is the unknown solution to the problem, and what we're getting here is the page of wands. Now, the page of wands in the upright is the reporter. Uh, the reporter is someone that is very good in communication, someone who knows how to, uh, how to speak 
talk, someone who's slicked tongue, someone who is a, also a liar, has a tendency to lie. But when it is in the reverse, it shows us that a, there is something missing, a inconsistency, difficulty to, to deal. So as an unknown solution, I would say that the, this, the, uh, an unknown solution here is to try and use the media in order to uh, make them uh, come out with the truth about William, uh, trying to use the reporters, trying to use that uh, page of swords. That is the unknown solution, but because it is in the reverse, it only shows us how difficult it is for the royal family to do that, because this is about a, a Deflect, leaving aside the uh, uh, never complain, never explain policy that the Queen has been uh, acting upon for so many years. And Prince William has in the past talked about uh, his, uh, his, his wish to stop that and to start uh, coming out with uh, the truth about things. This is what this card is telling him. This is what he should do. He should uh, uh, react to those uh, malice gossip. He should react. He should use the media to his advantage. But because it is in the reverse, it only shows us how difficult it is for Prince William to change that policy. And probably because uh, his father is used to that, his grandmother is used to that. So uh, it's difficult for him to even to convince uh, them to use the reporters and to use the media to their advantage and to start a, a coming out with the truth and deflecting all of those uh, false rumors. And the advice card is the moon card. Now, this is the moon card in the upright. This is the moon card in the reverse. So it is a card, it is the mother card. And we know that the mother is a card that, uh, the, or the mother issue is very strong around Harry. But the advice here for William is to use his mother and everything around his mother to his advantage, to use everything that is connected to the mother problem that Harry has to his advantage. So this card is telling him uh, to get out of his comfort zone, to get out of the confusion, to not to be afraid of taking initiative, not to prosper procrastinate because these are the things that are happening when the moon card is controlling you and the advice here is to try and to get over the problems of the moon card this card shows that we are dealing with people that have severe emotional problems people that are really really disturbed and this card is telling Prince William, don't stay in the comfort zone. Don't uh, con don't uh, give in to confusion. Don't be afraid to take initiative. Don't procrastinate. Don't feel sadness, depression. Deal with the problem. Deal with the problem of uh, your mother. Start talking about your mother as a positive energy, as someone who has uh, um, has. Uh, um, influence your life in a positive way and start a uh, putting aside everything that is connected to her death because this is what Harry is utilizing. Harry almost never speaks about the good things that he learned from his mother. He always think, speaks about the bad uh, or the, the very horrible uh, uh, sensations and uh, um, experiences that he experienced when once his mother died, but there was a whole era of time when Princess Diana was there, and she was a William's mother just as she was Harry's mother. So 
the advice for William is to utilize his mother in a good way and not in a bad way as, as his uh, brother does. So what will be the final outcome? And the final outcome is the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is a card that tells us uh, that the final outcome will be letting go. So letting go is not only Prince William letting go of all of those rumors, it is also about the Sussex squad that will have to let go because they will not be able to go on with these rumors. This is what this card is all about. And this is uh, the uh, Eight of Wands in the upright position. And uh, so the Eight of Wands in the upright position is a uh, giving up the struggle and this is what uh, the Sussex squad will have to do they will have to give up because they will be called out so uh, this card shows us that they will have to let go of all of this and you can see here that instead of the moon that is prominent in the right weight uh, card, we have the sun, and the sun is the father card, so the father image. So uh, instead of the moon that is prominent in the, uh, or here we see a, a, a falling star, uh, here we see the sun. So uh, the sun is not only a symbol of uh, sunlight, happiness, and a uh, abundance and uh, with everything that uh, Prince uh, William does project but it is also about the father so if we had the mother in the advice card in the outcome we have the father so it's not only a Prince uh, Charles it's also Prince William who is a father and uh, his paternity will be more and more uh, obvious. So this card shows us that the Sussex squad will have to let go and they will have to give up because the, all of the rumors that they are trying to spread, the Twitter uh, hashtag that they are trying to uh, make it uh, trending, all of these, they will just lose. So, and especially if Prince William does take the advice and does use his mother and her legacy for the good things that she has had, she did, she did uh, in her life and all of the good things that he can remember about her and not only about the trauma of her death. So this is the tarot. And the oracle card is the card, uh, of course, as always, from the Broken Mirror oracle. And what I'm going to do is uh, look at the uh, Sussex Squad energy as it is right now with everything that is coming out about their princess. So let's shuffle once more and then clear the deck. Okay, so Sussex Squad energy as it is right now, Sussex Squad energy on spreading malice rumors on Prince William. Okay, so the card that I'm getting is Triumph of Lies. So this is what they think. They think that they are uh, winning by spreading lies but these are lies and lies have the tendency to come out so they right now they feel that they are triumphant that they are winning because of uh, all of the lies that they are spreading but uh, it is lies and the truth is coming out and they will end up as this uh, 
um, image here of this skull and the crown on top of it. This, I think that this is the image of uh, how Meghan Markle will show. This is actually a woman's body. So this is, this is the true face of Meghan Markle. Okay, so this is it for this reading. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.